Is your Autodesk Revit lagging and always running slow whenever you're working on larger projects? Well, if the answer is yes, you're at the right place because in today's video, we're going to be covering these 12 tips on how to improve speed of Revit and just how to ensure that Revit is running quickly and smoothly. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into tip number one, which is to make sure that you're not using any non-native Revit geometry. So what does this mean? Well, this means if you have some families that you've perhaps downloaded online or got from a friend or something, and you're looking at the family and you're thinking, well, how on earth did somebody model this in Revit? Well, chances are they did it's probably imported from either SketchUp, Rhino, or whatever other software, and Revit doesn't seem to like this geometry, uh, especially when it has many faces here. For example, you have this tree, and it's just terrible for Revit, and it slows it down. So you can either, either delete these families, or you can just at least hide them from view until you get to the kind of rendering stage. Same thing goes with this car here. As you can see, it has tons of these polygons, and Revit doesn't like that and it's going to run really slow. So now if I just remove these, uh, it's going to improve uh, just the speed of orbiting quite a bit. Uh, now, uh, because of this issue uh, with the families that I offer on BalkanArctic.com, and I'm just going to link that up just below this video in the description, and then also up in the cards above, uh, these families are highly realistic and they are non-native Revit, uh, non Revit geometry. However, they have different versions for different levels of detail, so you can always drop the level of detail down to coarse, and it's going to show just native Revit geometry as a placeholder holder until you're ready to render. And for tip number two, you want to close all inactive windows. So uh, whenever you're working in Revit and you're switching between views and, and windows and you're just kind of looking at what you have there and it tends to clog up here on this tab and that tends to slow Revit down. So what you can do is you can either close them down manually like this or uh, to be a little quicker, you can always go here to close inactive views and just click on that and it's going to close all of them so you only have the active one uh, there. So this is a, a great way to improve speed. Now this is a good segue in tip number three, which is to delete all unused views. So also you might be creating some views uh, that in the end you tend not to use. So here, for example, I have tons of these 3D views. I don't need them. I don't want them. And it makes sense to uh, delete these. So you can just come in here, find these views, right click and delete. And that's going to make life a little bit easier for Revit. Now, speaking of deleting things, our tip number four is going to be to delete any unused content. So for example, you're bringing in families, you're trying things out, and at some point you might end up having five sofa families, even though you only need one. Well, that's the moment where you want to delete those families from your project, all of the unused, unnecessary families. Uh, now, a quick way to do that would be just to go here to uh, manage, and then on the settings panel uh, here we have some options and one of those is purge unused. It's going to open up a window like this and then you can actually come in here and find families. So for example, for doors, you can just check on uh, different doors. Even you can go even to door types and then you can uncheck or check certain door types. And it's basically going to purge all of those from the model, delete them from your Revit project. Uh, and it's going to uh, make it uh, a little bit uh, easier on Revit when it doesn't have to include all of those files. Moving on to tip number five, which is to use section boxes. So whenever you're working on a project, it might be difficult to see a certain part of the model and then you're kind of going around and looking at it. And also you're orbiting all of this geometry for perhaps a, a room or something like that. So what they suggest you do is you make a cross selection, just select the items that you're working on. Then you can go here to the section box and it's going to turn or uh, activate a section box in that area. Obviously you can select it and then you can adjust it just to kind of grab whatever you're working on. And this is going to be uh, a lot quicker to work on just because you're not 
looking at all of that geometry. Revit doesn't have to orbit all of that geometry and nothing's kind of obscur uh, obscuring your view. So use section boxes wherever applicable in order to work quicker and in order to uh, speed up Revit. And then once you're done, you just uncheck them here in the properties panel, hit apply and now you're back. And for tip number six, I'm going to be showing you how to compress your Revit project files. So when you're saving a file, if I go here to file and then save as, and I wanna save it as a project, what you'll notice here under options, we have the ability actually to, uh, to check on compact file, which is just going to compress that file or compress that file a little bit, uh, and uh, it's going to take up less space. So that's useful as well. Tip number seven is going to be to delete raster images. So if you're loading in some images, either to use as a reference or something like that, for example, you might have an image that you want to use for the floor plan design and you just needed to kind of uh, help you along the way and you may have loaded it into your uh, floor plan or something like that. Uh, if you have that image somewhere, find it, select it, delete it. It's slowing down your project. So if you have images that are loaded in and not being used, make sure to delete those. Tip number eight, really important, and it does make a huge difference, and that is to turn off shadows. So shadows tend to slow Revit down, make sure to turn them off if you wanna work quicker. Also, make sure to go here to graphic display options, and maybe your ambient shadows are turned on, so make sure to check those off as well, because that will make it a lot, uh, e make it a lot easier for Revit to navigate, and it's going to speed it up. Tip number nine is for families again. So whenever you have families uh, that have uh, been used in the project, in some cases, there might be a hidden DWG or CAD file inside of those families. That can really slow Revit down. So you might want to inspect the families, especially if they're part of your template or something like that, are there any imported CAD files here? Uh, you do want to uh, make sure you check that out uh, and uh, you just wanna uh, see that there are no CAD files there. If you want need some line work from a CAD file, you can always place uh, Revit lines over that, but make sure you don't have any DWG files in your uh, families. And that conveniently brings us to tip number 10, which is no DWG imports. So here, if I go to the insert tab, you have the option to link CAD, but also you have the option to import CAD. Importing CAD will increase the file size and it will also make it uh, uh, a bit more difficult for Revit, which is going to slow down Revit and that's going to slow you down. So if you need to use CAD files, make sure you load them in as links instead of importing ports. Uh, that's uh, a, a really good thing to keep in mind when it comes to working with these DWG imports. Tip number 11 uh, has to do with categories and that is to turn off all unused unnecessary categories while you're working. So here, for example, if I'm working on this project and let's say I'm working on construction uh, and I'm just looking at the beams and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the concrete slabs and so on, I don't really need to see furniture. So what I might wanna do for that view is go here to visibility graphics overrides and then I'm just going to find all of the categories that I don't need. So for example, furniture, don't need it, turn it off. Furniture systems, uh, I don't need those either. Uh, perhaps for the site, I don't need uh, elements of the site and I can just hit apply and it's just going to remove all of those items and as you can see now Revit is going to be a lot quicker. Uh, if you're still seeing some families and you're not sure which category it is, you can just select it and then here it's going to report the category. Okay, so this is specialty equipment, I don't need to see that either, so uh, visibility graphics overrides, find specialty equipment, here we go, uncheck that, apply, okay, and that kitchenette is gone. So that's uh, what you wanna do in order to just kinda speed up your process. You usually don't need to see all of the categories while you're working on your project, depending on which part of the project you're working on. 
And finally, our tip number 12 it has to do with sections and elevations. If you have sections and elevations in your project, then you probably do. Uh, so here, if I open up one of these, so let's see, let's go with this one. Uh, you uh, want to control the far clip. Uh, so here we have the far clip offset and far clipping, and uh, you want to first define it. Is it with a line, uh, no clip, or a clip with a line, or without it? Uh, I, I prefer to have clip without line. Uh, if you use no clip, uh, the, the problem is it's going to view kind of uh, for, uh, indefinitely, uh, which really isn't good. So you can also double check this. If I go to uh, my section here, you can see how far that far clip goes and you can adjust it either manually here or you can go to the properties panel and adjust it here. So if I want that 800 centimeters, uh, I can just reduce it to that or I can kind of manually adjust that. And that's of course going to change what you see, but you always wanna make sure it's just cutting as far as you need and not past that because then Revit is going to be showing you all of these elements that you don't need. So uh, it's basically just going to be uh, a bit too much information that isn't being used, but it is slowing you down. So that concludes our 12 tips to improve your speed when it comes to working in Revit. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to check out all of my Revit courses, I suggest you check out BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and also up in the cards above. That's where you can find all of my Revit courses. If you're interested in Revit project files like this office building that they have here, well, you can find all of my Revit project files on my Patreon page, which I'm going to include a link to just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. So I have like 500 files so far and I'm adding new ones with each video I release.